You're watching Heartland Hoops, sponsored by EBOMD. And welcome back to round two of Heartland Hoops. We begin with a doubleheader at Puxico, the boys game featuring Portageville in Puxico, also Hall of Fame night out there as we head on out and you can get a look at the dinner. Just a, a great night for Puxco. It's been a great year. We'll talk more about that a little bit, but a, a look at the Hall of Famers right there and just a, a night that they'll never forget. And their families, the standing ovation, just an amazing evening. We'll go ahead and get out uh, to all the action, the highlights and all this good stuff as well. Nice shot for Branson West for Portageville, but I'll tell you, Puxico had some answers. Thomas Birch, he's got himself a bucket right there. And hey, the cheerleaders on a night like this, all smiles, it's all you gotta do is win. And that's the way they were playing. Birch again, he gets it to go. Now, Jamarion Smith is gonna play football at Seymour. He's also one heck of a basketball player. Gets two there for Portageville. But this was the night for Puxico. Jaden Mitchell, he hits the shot and Puxico wins it, 62-53. They finish the season 20-5, first 20-win season since 2007. Way to go, guys. All right, to the girls' game. Puxico hosting Meadow Heights, and in the early going, all Meadow Heights, they had it moving. Cheyenne Tanjum, she was dominating out there, so Meadow Heights really kind of gave themselves a little bit of distance in this one, in the, in, again, in the early uh, portion of the game against Puxico, just hitting shots. But Puxico would, would come on back a little bit later. You see another long distance shot. But again, Puxico would get it going. Lady Porter and Laney Porter drives in, scores right there. A little bit later, Erica Wilkinson to tighten this game up. She would go ahead and get the bucket as well. But when it was all said and done, Meadow Heights hangs on. They went on the road, 54 to 51 the final. All right, hey, some great plays to, to choose from, some great things happening around the Heartland period. But here's our play of the night on Heartland Hoops. And it's Jackson's Blaine Harris, a sharpshooter who hit the 1,000 point mark in a 71 to 68 loss to top ranked and undefeated Sykeston. Harris hitting the shots, hitting the 1,000 point mark. Way to go, our Heartland Hoops play of the night. All right, we switch over to SEMO Gymnastics, hosting a tri-meet with Illinois State and Fisk University. So we're heading out to Hauk Fieldhouse. It's a terrific atmosphere, and the Redhawks have accomplished some great things for Ashley Lawson, that gymnastics program that they've got going over there and you're going to see a, a nice routine right here and you saw the good crowd fans love it when it was all said and done SEMO second out of the three teams Illinois State with 194.5 points excuse me they had 195 SEMO finished with 193. Meanwhile we finish up by talking about a little bit of baseball the Red Hawks opening up the season in Dallas Texas they fell to the Patriots 9-5. The game actually tied into the eighth before Dallas, Texas scored four times in that one. By the way, the SEMO basketball team plays a doubleheader tomorrow at SIU Edwardsville. That's Heartland Hoops. We'll catch you later, everybody.